We just had Alabama uh, allegedly stealing Miami of Ohio's kicker. And what would be your suggestion? Good idea, bad idea. Yeah, that's the backdrop. The story last week, uh, uh, Miami of Ohio had a very good kicker. Alabama's always looking for a kicker. How about this? When a Power 5 school in college football snags a very good player from a smaller program, non-Power 5 or FCS, the bigger school pays the smaller school a transfer portal fee. Similar to the transfer fee like in the Premier League, but this is a fixed fee. It can be set by position. So if like uh, the Akron Zips quarterback goes to LSU, they get $100,000. But if they're offensive linemen, it's eighty and so on. It's a fixed fee per mm. position. Back to you. Okay. What would Miami of Ohio get for their kicker? Let's say they got $75,000 for Alabama to acquire their kicker. Alabama would be comfortable to pay for that to get a kicker. Yeah. And it helps the smaller schools with their football programs financially overall. I like it. Yeah. I'm okay with it. Let's bring in Marty Smith of the Mothership, ESPN reporter, and uh, he's a spokesperson advisor for the new competitive giving product called Game Change. We'll have that uh, for him to discuss. All right. So what do you think, Marty? Uh, about the transfer portal news? Yeah. So here's my thing. The player decided to go in the portal, right? Mm -hmm. So if the player's decision is to go in the portal, then why would the school he's leaving benefit? Like, uh, I, I don't, I don't know that that works because now I will say this, here's my fix. My fix is now that there is revenue sharing at the player level, right? Players sign three-year contracts with the university. And if they leave, then there are buyouts involved from the school they go to. <laughs> there are, there are paybacks to NIL collectives. And all of that, we've spent, Dan, we've spent years going, well, the coaches leave. The coaches can just leave whenever the hell they want to. Yeah, they leave, and there's $76 million buyouts and all these things. So what does – I really feel like uh, we're in an era now where the player should have to do that too. Do you think Alabama maybe enticed the kicker to leave – Miami of Ohio? No idea, man. Okay. I don't know I don't know those dealings, but if I'm a Miami of Ohio kicker and I've had a really good year and my dream since and I've not talked to that young man, this is an inference on my part. I I've spent my entire life dreaming of playing at the highest level of co of college football and performing on the biggest stages. And I jump in the portal to to see if someone wants me. And Alabama comes calling, I'm probably going to bounce. Oh, no, I get that. But what I'm saying is these these smaller schools are being poached constantly. That you get somebody who's all Mac, and then somebody's going to go out and bring them Absolutely. in. Absolutely. But, you know, these teams, you know, they, they can't compete. You know, you're, you're trying to replenish your football program, and you're losing one of your best players to the highest bidder. So, yeah, that happens. In, I think that happens at every level now. It's happening uh, power five to power five. Uh, it's happening all over the place. And that's one thing that's made it. Uh, look, this is not a swan song cry me a river for the coaches because they make a fortune. But it is hard for those folks now in roster management perspectives because you just don't know who you're going to have and or what you're going to have when you finally get to the time where you're going to put a hat on a hat. And so it is a difficult moment, and I look forward to the time when at least we have some sort of uniform parameters mm -hmm. within which everyone has to operate.